Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. are going on a picnic. We find the girls helping to pack the lunch, and Mama says... Don't get excited. But we're late. Do you realize it's pretty near noon? Does it say somewhere in our big book that our picnic must be started before 12 o'clock? I know, but the earlier we start, the earlier we'll get back. We haven't even started yet, and you're worried about getting back. I thought picnics was a pleasure. I know, but we want to get back before it's dark. In the first place, it don't get dark until 7 o'clock with this daylight safety time. Oh, but Mama... And in the second place, suppose we do have to come home in the dark. And we got headlamps. How are we going to sit? I suppose Papa will want to drive. He always does. It's Papa's car. Oh, but Sidney's a much better driver. Pa can drive all right. I don't say he's a Bonnie Google, but he's all right. Oh, Pa's a terrible driver. Pa's good enough. He steers swell. He may make a little noise when he exchanges shifts, but he's a good enough driver for me. He drives too slow. It'll take him all day to get there. What's your hurry? This is our pleasure trip. When you go fast, what good is it? You can't even read the signboards. Which way are we going to go? We can go over the Foot Street Bridge. By that way's mountain. Yeah, a few. Then we go some other way. I don't like mountains. Oh, anymore. why not? If they're high, I don't like them. And if they're low, they ain't mountains. Oh, we better go the old way, up toward Newtown. That's a good way. If you let Sydney drive, it's not dangerous going up mountains. Papa's going to drive. Then you sit in front with Pa, and we'll put the baskets there, and we four will sit in the back. The baskets can't be in front. When Papa drives, he's got to have room for his elbows, just like when he eats. Oh, what are we going to do then? If Sidney and Arnold and Yetta sit in back, there won't be room for the best. I should say not. Unless we sit on the boys' lap. Nobody sits on anybody's lap. Well, I don't see what we're going to do then. If you and Papa take the baskets in front, it'd be a sin. We can tie the baskets on the back, on the rack trunk. Oh, that'll look terrible. I should more. say so. Simply terrible. Are we going to a picnic or are we going to have a picture taken? You're having too many rules for this picnic. A certain time we must stop. A certain time we must come back. The baskets must go in a place nobody knows where. We haven't started yet, and already I'm having a bum time. Where's Pop? Hi. He went down to the office for a few minutes. Did he shave? Sundays he don't shave. He can't go then. I can't go then. I didn't shave either. Oh, I think he'd have a little pride about the way he looks. Your Papa looks all right. You ought to be glad he don't wear a beard. Oh, if he wore a beard, I'd die. Mm -hmm. Some nice men wore beards. Look at General Grunt in history. Oh, I don't care. He ought to shave. When he comes home, I'll ask him to take just a quick shave. Sarah, I'm giving you good advice. Don't ask him. In the first place, he didn't want to go. So if you ask him to shave, the whole picnic will be suspended. Besides, Papa ain't no spot. Next thing, you'll be wanting him to wear a tuxedo like a waiter. We'll be a fine-looking crowd. Baskets all over the car. Papa without a shave. And you in that old dress. This dress is all right. It's good enough for picnics. Why don't you wear your good black one? Two dollars and a quarter a yard I paid for that silk. And you want me to wear it to be stung by a caterpillar. Oh, caterpillars don't sting. All right, a wisp. Well, you should wear it, Ma. Yeah, Ma, you look ten years younger in it. Yes, you do. Honest, you do, Ma. Mm -hmm. You told me that about my new hat. Well, it's true. Well, I'll wear my black dress. It'll make me look ten years younger. My new hat will make me look ten years more younger. I wear a couple more things, and I won't be born maybe for two years. Oh, then you're going to wear it? No matter what you say, my best dress, I don't wear to sit down on trees. Ants can crawl on this dress. If they don't like it, they don't have to crawl. Why are you always talking about ants? Because to our picnic, 
comes in. They don't need an invitation. I'll bet you the minute we get there, the ants will be telephoning all around to the other ants, telling them to come over. The Blooms is giving a picnic. <laughs> Say, an ant's got to make a living, too. Oh, I bet there won't even be any ants. No, maybe not, but there'll be cows. You know, I heard someplace, if you see a cow, don't wave in front of him a yellow rag. Ma, in the first place, it's a red rag, and in the second place, it's a bull. Bulls, cows, how can I tell the difference? Am I a zoo? I like animals. Well, Sarah, you should live in Africa then, but kangaroos, zebras, giraffes, and veils. Me, I like tame animals like a lamb chop. Speaking of food, what have we got? Well, in, <laughs> you should see. In the first place, potato salad. I made two big jars full. Oh, well, that's too much potato salad. At a picnic, you must eat big. Even if you got no appetite, it's a rule. What else? Two thousand hard-boiled eggs. <gasps> two dozen hard-boiled <gasps> eggs for six people? Maybe a tramp will come along. Well, what else have we got? Pickles, two kinds, and chow chow. Sounds good. Uh -huh, you ain't heard something yet. A tongue sliced, not like cigarette paper. Thick slices with corned beef. A whole chicken. A salami. The best. Has it got garlic in it? Who knows what's in a salami? Well, now, don't tell me you've got anything else. Yeah, yeah, sure, plenty. I'll leave a sausage, some chocolate cake, a can of sardines, maybe two, and a lemon cream pie. Now, how can you carry a lemon cream pie? The minute you wrap it up, it's boiled. I'll carry it in my hand. You can't carry a lemon cream pie in your hand. Gosh, I never heard of so much food in all my life. You know something? I almost forgot the salt. But I'm taking it separate, so it shouldn't get in the chocolate cake. <laughs> I've been to picnics before. Well, I'm certainly glad that's all. Then we're taking along some ginger ale, some iced tea, and a thermometer full from coffee, and paper plates, and paper cups, and knives, and forks, and spoons, <laughs> and a tablecloth and napkins. You don't think I forgot anything? Well, I don't see how we're ever going to get it all in the car. Mm -hmm. A good idea would be if we had one of those little wagons that you tie onto our car. A tailor. I never heard anything like that in my whole life. No, no. Your mama don't give parties like Mrs. Rabinovitz. Eight ladies she had to a party last Tuesday, and she served two pieces of lettuce and an olive. Oh, you told us you had chicken salad. That's what she called it. I pushed mine around with a fork for five minutes, and not one piece of chicken did I meet. When I invite people to eat, if they don't feel uncomfortable afterwards, I know they had a bum dinner. Paul should be here now. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's your Sydney. Well, I told him 11.30. Well, why doesn't Pa show up? Pa'll be here in plenty time. Come on, now, let's pack the baskets. Yes, sir. Yes, the box you put it in there. The lemon pie. You got a head like a taxi. The lemon pie she puts on the bottom. I told you not to pack it. Give it to me. On the bottom, you put the potato salad. <coughs> Taste it, it's good. Ma, give me some. How much? Right, I'll give you some. Here, take something with it. Mm. A piece of salami. Yeah, the give her a slice of bread. Salami you can't eat raw. Okay. And a pickle. Mm. Here's mm. good, Ma. I'll take a pickle, too. <laughs> I know what you like. Here. Open up that other package. It's going to be... Mm. Tasty. Don't you want something more? Well, crack me a hard-boiled egg with a pinch of salt. Okay. A slice of bread I'll have, too. Here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, oh boy. It's eggs is good. Another more? Here. Don't crack another one. Oh, I'm mm. sorry. All right, it's cracked. I'll leave it. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Take me out maybe one spoon potato salad. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's enough. Break off a mouthpiece of corned beef, not a whole slice. Sarah, give me another piece of bread. Yeah, well, 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 the yes. old daddy. Oh, hello, Pa. Everybody's eating. Hello, hello Papa. Yeah, good. Give Papa a chicken leg. Yeah, I'll take the other leg. I'd like a leg, too, Ma. This is our chicken, not our centipede. Mmm, this is good chicken. <laughs> well, haven't you got any potato salad? Mm -hmm. Give him potato salad. If you got to get it, never mind. I'll do without the potato salad. Why should you do without potato salad? All right, all right, Mama. I'll settle for a pickle. <laughs> give him two pickles. Here, Pa. Say, look, I've got an idea. Let's eat the lemon pie. We can't pack it anyhow. Mm, mama, this chicken is the best you ever made. <laughs> <laughs> chicken is always good, Jack. Pack some more. All right. Uh, oh, never mind, never mind. Instead, I'll uh, take it. Let me see what he got here. <laughs> I'll take some of this lemon pie. Wait a minute. We're eating up the picnic. Well, yeah. What's the difference? A picnic is a picnic no matter where you eat it. Oh, let's stop eating. My goodness, this is terrible. Yeah, come on. Now, let's pack the it all The boys will be here any minute. We want to stop. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what wait a minute. What you got there, Papa? <laughs> You'll soon see. <laughs> here you are, Yetta. And one for you, sir. Oh, and one for you, Mama. Uh, and fair for everybody. Look, he bought us Google. How about we on top of the potato salad, Mom? Well, you better put the chicken. The chicken's okay. all gone. See, I told you we'd be sure the food. We haven't even started already. The chicken's gone. Well, what'll I put in my basket? All the little packages. We can't do it in two baskets. There's no use trying. A toy basket's in the pantry. Get it. Not the one with the cat in it. Oh, let's take the cat. We don't need animals. We got Sydney. Sydney's not an animal. All right, don't fight. 
He's not an animal, he's a mineral. And don't call him a mineral either, Mom. As long as we get the baskets packed, he can be a vegetable. Uh-huh. I know we forgot something. Vegetable. Yenta, look at the icebox. You'll find those sweet sour beans. Put them in the cracked soup plate and put them on top from the chocolate cake. No, 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 not from the chocolate cake. You'll break up the icing. Put them on top from the liver sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twelve o'clock, you told me to be home. I break my neck to be home, and here we sit. Did you get gasoline? Gasoline I got. Oh, you should have had the oil change, Pop. Yeah, and put water in the red Am I a fool? Everything I did, even the spare tire I had pumped up. As long as Sydney's coming along, I only hope we have a puncture. Yeah, best Sydney. Oh, I guess he stopped to pick up Arnold. Arnold? Arnold's coming, too. Yeah. Where are we all going to sit? Who's going to drive? I'll drive, and your mum will tell me how. Oh, we four can sit in back if we put the baskets in front, Pa. Then Pop and I sit in front. There's no room for baskets. Yeah, I got to have room. Why don't you let Sydney drive? In my car, I drive. And we go to Sydney's picnic in his car, he can drive. Jake, drive slow. All right, Mum, I'll drive slow. Oh, there's oh, Sydney. Jake, you took a long money. You know, in an automobile. Yes, yes, I took a long money. Hello, Mr. Bloom. Hello, Hello, Sydney. Sydney. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Hello. Hi. Well, Hello. we're glad you're coming with us, Sydney. You too, Arnold. Uh, can I help? You want me to drive? I'll drive. We know, Sydney, you're a very good driver, but if anybody but Papa drives, I get very nervous. Oh, Quite a my. gang, huh? I guess the best way will be if we four are sitting back and you put the baskets in front with you and Mrs. Bloom. In the front will go no baskets. Don't get excited, Papa. Uh, we'll tie the baskets on the back. Are we ready to start, or are we going to wait until you shave, Mr. Bloom? Papa's not shaving. Well, that's all right. Doesn't make any difference to me. Come on, Arnold, you okay. take that basket and I'll take these two. We'll stick them in the back someplace. Now here's a piece string. Uh, thanks. We'll work it out somehow. Oh, did you get gas, Mr. Bloom? I got gas. I got water. I got gas. I got everything. Sydney, <laughs> hurry up downstairs. Tie the baskets on the rack trunk and build that. Hurry up, Sally. Well, we'll go with you. Come on, yeah. All right. Come on, that boy. That boy is poison to me. A picnic is enough trouble without him. Look, if you're ready, we'll start. Huh? Take your other hatchet. I'll wear this hat. In a automobile, you don't wear a doibie. Do I tell you what to wear? Wear what you please. But, Jake, if we hit a bump, you'll break the hat. All right, all right. Give me the other hat. Mama. What you want? Why didn't you wear your other dress? This one's good enough. But mine best underwear, I would. An old dress, but your best underwear. Sure. In case we have an accident, I want to look nice in the hospital. 